Hello everybody. The purpose of this video is to reduce the in-game latency in Blade and Soul and be able to be competitive in the arena. So the most important thing to do right now is to download Pink Zapper, create an account. Then if you don't have already an account or you want to reset your weekly trials, just go to protonmail.com create an account here then create a pink zapper account just confirm with what you receive in proton mail this is absolutely free and you don't have to confirm anything you don't ask for your no phone number so you can create whatever however many you want and just reset your pink zapper free trial which expires every seven days just create another account and just reset it Next, how to use your Bing Zapier, it's simple, just launch it. Then just uh, uh, add a game and search for your game in your folders. Next, just click on this and choose a server. The you can try and see which which one has a better ping but you can also choose the one that is between you and Frankfurt 2 or just go for Frankfurt 2 which is the closest to the Blade and Soul servers but it's usually overcrowded and you gotta make sure you don't choose something that has high population like this one because it will uh, lag a lot so now this is a very basic things you just have to use the ping zapper vpn when you want to launch the game just um, click this on and just turn it on then you can you're free to launch your game it will work so this is about ping zapper then this is a bit technical and it will require some time so please pay attention so this is something that works uh, well it's called uh, rage edit tweaks so you just look it up here, launch it, and this is basically what it is. Then you have uh, various guides that tell you what to do. But before you look at them, you need to find out whether you have a 64-bit computer or a 32 one. To do so, just go to your system, control panel just can't find it like this just type control control panel um, system and security system and it will show you your uh, PC uh, specs so here it's written 64-bit operating system so everything I do I must choose 64-bit uh, when uh, in this video it's 32-bit but you have to do it with 64-bit so basically this is what it want you to do so basically just follow the steps he will show you where to go for instance this is page key current config so I just go here close everything page key current config and he asks you to create a my string regular word this is um, so basically you right click new it says Dwarf 32 bit, but like I said, our PC is a 64 bit client one, so you have to choose 64 bit, not 32 like in the video, unless your PC is 32 bit. Then just write whatever he says. So he wants you to type 9524-2242 hexadecimal, so you just do it. next he wants you to go you can see here if you don't want to follow the steps you can just skip and see right here where to go <coughs> so this is hk current config system and he wants you to create a folder file named freeman so i just do it again he says do it 32 bit but you make sure you press 30, 64 bit freeman enter enter page 14 then 
and he wants you to make a maximum channels with a slash so you do it you won't have this uh, when you first do it I just I'm showing you what to do so 64 bits since R is 64 bit you just type whatever you type he wants you to do these numbers so you do it go ahead and do it 14 5 1 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's 6 of it right 2 3 yeah that's 5 5 zeros so I go ahead and do it can verify if you got the correct values here if you made a mistake it will you will see it the same value all right now you go what to do what he wants you to do next computer HK current network HK current user that's here network can just press N if you can't find it. Alright, so here it's a network bandwidth. Just copy this name. Alright. And the value is here it's decimal, so make sure you change it. The value is fifty five hundred twelve. Alright, let's take it care of. Next, we have computer HK local machine. HK local machine hardware description system central processor. So you click on this, you don't expand and No wait. Let me see. So here you make a sixty-four mil value. Max one channels. And it's decimal and it's twelve five hundred. 500. Verify here it's if it's a right value. Yes. So next we have HK current user control panel desktop. So here is current user. Control panel desktop. He wants you to modify menu show delay. So you go look for it. If it's not there, then you create one. Let's right click and reg AC. So I want you to press 10. Okay, it's already done for me. Next way to kill app timeout. Radio data ten. By the way, he wants you to create something. That's string value as Z. Auto end tasks. So you check if you have it. If you don't have it, you make one. All right, I already have it. The value is one. Finally, H key, local machine, system, control.
control set control way to kill series timeout so that's here if you don't already have it you create one and you change the value to 100 no 1000 all right that has been taken care of i put a video link in the description if you want to do it by yourself then next we have this guy who does something interesting he goes into and let me close this link one. so hk local machine system current control set services tc tep just press t after you have right that tab t t c if you find it and he wants you to make a dual keyword that's 64 bit called global max tcp window size and the value is seven already taken care of for me so that's it for the reg edit, reg edit tweaks that you have to do next you just follow this guy's instructions it's a DNS server internet protocol it's basically control panel again just type control control panel Um, network and internet network sharing center you click on whatever you have right here and this is your IP address you can just use you don't have to modify it however you have to modify this and he recommends you using this kind of DNS server it might work for you but I'm gonna use this one the level 3 server since Blade and Sue is notorious for being provided by level 3 not sure if it will work I'll find out by myself but people claim that this is the best program you can use also use the Google one it works pretty much every time or you can just look up your own DNS server depending on your internet provider and just look it up and this is it now your internet connection should be better all right guys thank thanks for watching I really hope this video has helped you because it has helped me and I had wished I would have wished that somebody would show me these steps and that I wouldn't have to look them up by myself. So I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully it fixes your arena latency issues in Blade and Soul. And see you next time on the next video.